The U.S. Wagner will be one be Lancer's strategic bomber, and the Russian Tu-160 Blackjack looks visually similar, and they are both supersonic strategic bombers and missile carriers. So, which of these two is more powerful? Let's compare between the two. And before jumping right into it, don't forget to press that subscribe button so you can be a part of our Buzz family. The Rockwell B-1 Lancer, commonly called the Bone, is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy bomber used by the United States Air Force. While the Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy strategic bomber designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s and is now currently used by the Russian Air Force. The Rockwell B-1 Lancer was first introduced on October 1986, while the Tu-160 entered service in April 1987. The Air Force has 62 B-1Bs in service as of 2016, while the Russian Air Force's long-range aviation branch has at least 16 Tu-160 aircraft in service. Both the aircraft are operated by four crew pilot, co-pilot, a navigator, and an operator. Firstly, let's look into the unit cost. As of 2019, the B-1B's unit cost is 423 million US dollars, whereas the Tu-160 Blackjack is less expensive compared to the Lancer, having a unit cost of only 70 million US dollars. As of 2020, the Tu-160 is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft in use and the largest and heaviest variable sweep wing airplane ever flown, measuring a length of over 54 meters, while the B-1 measures only 45 meters. The wingspan and height of the Blackjack are 14 meters and 3 meters larger compared to its rival. As for the wing area, the B-1 Lancer is more than two times less compared to the Tupolev 160. There is no doubt that the empty weight of the Lancer is less than the Blackjack measuring only 87,090 kilograms, and again the Lancer has a less gross weight and its maximum takeoff weight measures only 216,364 kilograms, while the Blackjack measures 275,000 kilograms. The B-1A's engine was modified slightly to produce the General Electric F-101 GE-102 with four engines for the B-1B with an emphasis on durability and increased efficiency, producing 123,120 pounds of thrust combined. While the Tu-160 is powered by four Kuznetsov NK-32 after-burning turbofan engines, each of which produce a maximum thrust of 220,000 pounds combined. This is one of the most powerful engines ever fitted to a combat aircraft. Unlike the B-1A, the B-1B cannot reach Mach 2 plus speeds, its maximum speed is 1,530 km per hour. The speed of the current version of the aircraft is limited by the need to avoid damage to its structure and air intakes. To lower its radar cross-section, the B-1B uses serpentine air intake ducts and fixed intake ramps which limit its speed compared to the B-1A. While the Tu-160 retains variable intake ramps and it is capable of reaching a speed of 2,531 km per hour. The ferry range of the B-1 Lancer is less compared to the Tupolev. The combat radius of the Lancer measures 4,828 km, while the Blackjack measures 7,300 km. The service ceiling of the Lancer is 2,000 meters more than the Tu-160. The Lancer can climb at a rate of 29 meters per second, which is two times less than the Blackjack. The B-1B is no longer armed with nuclear weapons, but it is capable of carrying the AGM-86B air launch cruise missile and the AGM-69 short-range attack missile. In August 2019, the Air Force unveiled a modification to the B-1B to allow it to carry more weapons internally and externally. The maximum internal weapons payload is 34,000 kg, which has three internal bomb bays and maximum external weapons payload is 23,000 kg. The configuration also enables it to carry heavier weapons in the 2,300 kg range, such as hypersonic cruise missiles like the AGM-183ARRW, which is planned for integration onto the bomber that could carry up to 31 missiles. The external payload includes AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missile, which is a stealthy anti-ship cruise missile capable of conducting autonomous targeting. 
AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon, which is a fire-and-forget weapon that employs a tightly coupled GPS INS for navigation, AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile with a long-range precision standoff cruise missile with digital jam-resistant global positioning system. Apart from all this, it could also carry various types of bombs like joint direct attack munition, cluster munitions, naval mines, and general-purpose bombs. As for the blackjack, weapons are carried in two internal bays, each capable of holding 20,000 kilograms of freefall weapons or a rotary launcher for nuclear missiles. Additional missiles may also be carried externally. The Tu-160's primary armament has always been long-range cruise missiles like the Kh-55MS. The maximum range of this missile is 3,000 km and it is armed with a 200 kiloton nuclear warhead. The aircraft can carry a total of 12 KH-55 and up to 24 KH-15. The KH-15P kickback has solid rocket fuel propulsion which gives a range of up to 200 km. The kickback can be fitted with the conventional 250kg warhead or a nuclear warhead. In the past few months, Russia have used the KH-555 version of the cruise missile and the stealthy KH-101 cruise missiles against targets in Syria. Apart from this, it can also carry the nuclear-tipped KH-102. The Tu-160 can also carry freefall bombs with a maximum weight of up to 40 tons. These bombers are intended to attack the most important enemy targets. The Lancer's offensive avionics include the ANAPQ-164 forward-looking offensive passive electronically scanned array radar set with electronic beam steering which provides high-resolution terrain mapping, velocity data, terrain avoidance, terrain following position data, weather detection, and calibration modes. The B1's defense electronics include the Eden ANALQ-161A radar warning and defense jamming equipment. While the Tu-160 carries a TSNPO Leninitz Observer K radar for tracking ground and air targets and a separate Sopco terrain following radar, the aircraft is highly computerized and the avionics systems include an integrated aiming, navigation, and flight control system with a navigation and attack radar and electronic countermeasure systems and automatic controls. While similar in appearance to the American B-1 Lancer, the Tu-160 is a different class of combat aircraft, its primary role being a standoff missile platform or strategic missile carrier. The Tu-160 is also larger and faster than the B-1B and has a slightly greater combat range, though B-1B has a larger combined payload. Another significant difference is that the color scheme on the B-1B Lancer is usually subdued dark gray to reduce visibility. The Tu-160 is painted with anti-flash white, giving it the nickname among Russian airmen, White Swan. So, in fact, it is not a question if the B-1B or Tu-160 is better, because actually different planes have different roles and missions.